in your life. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Kingdom Praise Ministry. Woo! I hope you had a blessed week. And we ask the Lord to give you even better week upcoming. Um, let's start with a word of prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just thank you, Father God, for not letting your chain be broken, Lord. Thank you, Father, for bringing us together one more time, Father God, to give you praise, to honor you, to magnify your name, Lord. Father God, we give all the glory and all the praise to you, Father God, because without you, Father, we could not do anything, Lord. We thank you, Father, for that reasonable touch that woke us up this morning, Lord. We thank you, Father, for waking us up in the right mind and the right spirit, Father God, to serve you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for healing, the, healing our bodies, Father God, and just watching over our finances, Lord. Father God, we just come giving you all the honor and praise, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We magnify your holy name, Father God, for all that you have done, all that you will do, Father God. We thank you, Lord. Father God, we ask you, Lord, that you would touch everyone in the sound of my voice, Father God. Touch them and, and give them what they stand in need of, Lord. Some may stand in need of, Lord, of inter intercessory prayer, Father God, that you would intervene on them for whatever may be a health issue, Father, a financial issue, Father, a love issue, Father God. We cast it all on you, Lord. Father God, help us to stop worrying about things yes, and just yes. present all things to you, Father God, because worrying don't change anything, Lord. But just give us wisdom and guidance, Father God, to do whatever you place in our hearts to, Father, to do, Lord. And we thank you, Father God. We ask you, Lord, that you touch those people in the hospital, Father God, Lord, we know that if you were to walk through, everyone would be healed. But, Father God, we present them to you, Lord, as a reason for all things that you do, Lord. So we're going to trust you, Father God. But, Lord, we ask you, Father, for the healing of those, Father, who are sick, whether it may be physically or mentally, Lord, or spiritually, Lord. We ask you, Father, for a touch, Father God. Help us, Father God, to be ministers of your word, to live your word, Father God, and to be bold warriors for you, Lord. And we just thank you in advance, Lord. Help us to be able to express how magnificent you are, Father God. And help us all to see how great you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Once again, good morning for those who join us late. I hope you were able to join us this morning for Sunday school. It was a great lesson. The lesson, as you know, we are still in the um, unit of Jesus Calls Us. And we're dealing with calls by the margin of society. And today, our lesson was called, The Greatest in the Kingdom. Y'all know what this about? We came from Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 through 9. And the disciples was wondering, Lord, who will be great in the kingdom? But we know God is great because why? God came to serve. And as his children, we're supposed to be serving one another, not trying to be the biggest or the best, but to be servants of Christ. And he reminds us in this, in this lesson, the lesson was taught by Minister Michael Echo Jr. He reminded us that we are all God's children. And as God's children, God gives us what we stand in need of. And if we need something, just like our parents used to care for us, in most cases, they gave us what we need. Not always what we wanted, but we did, they did fulfill our needs. Well, God is there to do both for us. He's not someone that you just, he's not a genie, but he will provide for us. So if you have any cares or any concerns, place them in God's hand, because he will provide for us. Next week's lesson is... Jesus talks with the Samaritan, and we're coming from John chapter 4. Several verses in John, John chapter 4. I'm going to say read the entire chapter of, um, of chapter 4 of John so we can get Real the message. Dark. And if you sure want to do the devotional readings as well, because it always add to the lesson, that's in Isaiah chapter 44, verses 1 through 8. And the background scripture, again, is going to be John chapter 4, verses 1 through 42. I'm focused now. March 25th there you go. is our outreach Saturday. So for those who can, please join us and participate Why with us like to serve those who are less fortunate than we are. We'll be meeting on Fed and Front Street 
8 o'clock a.m. We get there a little earlier so we can set up um, because sometimes there's a line waiting for us. So if you can't come out to support us, we, we really appreciate that because we always need hands. But if you can't, then please keep us in prayer. And we all stand in need of the donations to fulfill the things that we gave out last month so we can replenish and keep yeah, the stock going. Mm -hmm. There's always a need for underwear, male as, as well as female, socks, um, toiletries, and of course they love snacks and food because we feed them as well. So if you, please, if you can donate, we appreciate that. If you can't, pray for us or come out and help us serve those who are, need to be served. And we thank you in advance for that. Also next Sunday, just a reminder, is Communion Sunday. So if you don't have, if, for those who don't come fellowship with us in person, if you don't, if you need communion cups, please I am us, email us, let us know so we can get those things to you. Um, but of course, if you come in person, we have those things for you right here. All right. We do have a word this morning, and our pastor will be presenting the word, and he's going to be coming from Luke chapter 5, verses 17 through 26. And I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. Now it happened on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who had come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Then behold, men brought one of beds, a man who was paralyzed, whom they sought to bring in and lay before him. And when they could not find how they might bring him in, because of the crowd, they went up to the housetop and let him down with his bed through the tilting in the midst before Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said to them, Man, your sins are forgiven you. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this to speak blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus received their thoughts, he answered and said to them, Why are you reasoning in your hearts? Which is greater to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, rise up and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. Immediately he rose up before them, took up what he had been laying on, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And when they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with the fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. The Sermon of the Day, I'm trusting God for your miracle. The next voice that you're going to hear will be our psalmist, Reverend Beth Ty Eccles. Pray for her and with her, and followed by Minister Eccles, will be Pastor Eccles with the Word of God. Amen. 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 Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Reflect on your life. Reflect on your week. Reflect on just today. I just want to create, just create a worship atmosphere. Whatever your worship looks like, just begin to open your mouth and just worship God. Y'all, this is practice for when we get to heaven. This is practice for when we get to heaven. Just worship. Worship him. Whatever your worship looks like, I ask that you just worship God. Talk to him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord for allowing us to even see this day. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for getting us out of the bed. Thank you, Lord, for Thank allowing us to get dressed. Yes. Thank you, Lord, yes. for health and strength, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you for the healing you, of my brother that I know that you're going to bring. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for getting me through a car accident, Father. Yes. No scratches. No yes. one died. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I worship you. In the beauty of holiness, I lift 
my hands to you. For you are my righteousness. You are royalty. So I King of kings, your majesty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your majesty. I worship you. In the beauty of holiness, I lift my hands to you. For you are my righteousness. You are royalty. Yes. So I crown you King of Kings, your majesty. Your majesty. I reverence you, for only thou art holy, I bow to you, I'll forever thy glory you are royalty so I crown you king of kings oh you are royalty so serve is a great God and worthy yes, to be praised. Yes, yes, this yes. morning I want us to focus, take our focus off ourselves this morning. Amen. Yes. Let's take our focus off ourselves and let's take time to trust God for somebody else's miracle. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody say Amen. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's trust God. I'm trusting God for somebody else's breakthrough. Amen. Amen. I'm trusting God for somebody else's deliverance. Amen. Amen. Because we want to get our, our mind off ourselves today and start thinking about what the Lord can do for somebody else's life. Yes. We, the scripture has been read before us today. 
And I want us to understand this is that, yes, God's going to work a miracle in my life. But what he wants us to do today, let's say, let's say just today, all right, just for, just for this moment. I want you to get somebody in your mind right now you want God to do something for, and I want you to offer prayer to them right now. Yeah. And let God, they, they, they may be in the room, look at them and say, I'm trusting God for your miracle. Hallelujah. I'm trusting God for your miracle. Amen. Yes. I'm trusting God for your breakthrough. I'm yes. trusting God for your healing. Amen. Yes. Yes. God wants us to get out of ourselves sometimes and yes. think about what somebody else is going. You got somebody struggling. You got a friend of yours struggling. You got somebody who has a sick loved one. You got, you got sickness in your family. Say, I'm trusting God for that miracle yes. today. Yes. In this text, we're going to see Jesus responding not because of the person's sickness, but he's going to respond to those who brought the person. Yeah. Can you say real quick, take yeah. me to the king? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just take me, amen. Responding to a man who didn't have strength to get himself there. How many of those people you think are too far gone? You think there's no need to talk to them? They don't have the ability to even, they don't even like God. They don't even trust God. They don't even believe there is a God. But guess what? I got some atheists on my prayer list. Give God yeah. a praise. Yeah. Every time God put an atheist in my way, they say, I don't believe in God. They don't believe in God. That stuff, you got an invisible friend. You believe in a fairy tale. And every time they come and attack me, I say, thank God for another prayer somebody else to pray for. Yeah, because amen. while they're cursing God and while they're belittling God, I'm praying for their salvation. Amen. Because some people don't have strength enough to get to God for themselves. Yeah. So they need some friends to come along and carry them there. Amen. Yeah, Give amen. God a praise right there. Jesus, in this particular text, we see earlier in this text that he was teaching on a certain day. And we know Matthew, Mark, and Luke all record this incident. We know from other, from other Gospels that this was in Capernaum. We also know this was most likely Peter's house. This was not a church, a synagogue, but this was a house where he was teaching in. And while he was teaching, y'all say, why he's teaching? Why he's teaching? Guess what? The enemy showed up. Yes. How many know every time you do something for God, the enemy going to try to show up? Yes. And guess what? They got there early. <laughs> the scribes and Pharisees got there early to check Jesus out, to check this new preacher out in town. And I'm going to tell you from a preacher's standpoint, some of the hardest people to preach in front of is another preacher. Yes. Amen. Because everybody's yeah. sitting back thinking, I can do it better. Yes, you can do it better. You've been doing it longer. You, you got the crowd. But guess what? This is not your assignment. Y'all yeah. better give God a praise yeah. right now. Yeah. Jesus was on assignment. And there's plenty of people smarter than you. Plenty of people deserve the position you got better than you do. Plenty of people could have been sent this way and, and given favor, but that's not their assignment. And guess what? I don't want another person's assignment. All I want, y'all just shout at me, all I want is what God has for me. Y'all better give God a praise. You don't have to be jealous of what anybody has. Amen. Matter of fact, when God is blessing somebody, you ought to get excited. Why? Because he's in the vicinity. Y'all better give God a praise. That means he's blessing somebody, and what he did for somebody else, he can do for you. But be willing to say that might not be God's will for me. That might not be God's path for me. I'm rejoiced what God's doing for them, but I'm rejoiced right now. How many rejoice then right now what God is doing for you? Y'all yes. know God doing something for your life. God yes. is about to do some things. This is the year, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is the year. God puts it on my heart early in the year. This is the year of unlimited opportunities. Didn't I say that to you guys? Yes. Already yes. people have gotten jobs. Yes. People have gotten promotions. Not because of what I said, because God spoke it to my spirit to let me know what it is. And guess what? God presented a new platform for Kingdom Praise Ministries. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Guess, your, guess what, y'all? We done gone international. Y'all better give God some praise. Yeah. Yeah. Kingdom Praise Ministry, because of our outreach and because of our Facebook platform, we have been, and he's probably going to listen today. He'll hear this later on. A young man, 22 years old, lives in Pakistan, and he's seeking to bring in a Muslim country. He's seeking to bring the gospel to his village. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. He want to know Thank if we can Lord. help him. Mm. Thank yes. you, Lord. Yes. And so we've had two services already. Mm. And guess what? I'm telling you, I told him, I said, I like your people. <laughs> your people are excited. Yes, yes. they are. They are. These people They're are singing. Excited. They're not sitting back looking like you and I. We got y'all, I'm telling y'all, we got too much. Mm -hmm. They sitting on, on the floor on mats, 60 deep, in a room much smaller than this. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I can only stand, understand two words, amen and hallelujah. Ah, you all better give God some praise right there. I might not understand that, but I understand hallelujah. Y'all remember really hallelujah crosses all barriers? Yes. Praise you, the Lord. It crosses all, all languages. 
Instead of Pakistan, they saying hallelujah. How can I, why can't I hear it right here this morning? Hallelujah. Y'all say it like you mean. Hallelujah. They sing it. They don't have no music. They sing it to the top of their voice. at worshiping God. And they're dedicated. It's 10 o'clock our time, but 8 8 o'clock their time at night. And they're gathered from young, old, all ages. And I'm just excited. Because he has asked me to come and help them. And I'm saying, well, God, here go on them doors. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. Because I had to say a few words, he's got to translate it. I got to say, he's the only one there that speaks English. So I'm saying a few words, he got 22 years old, y'all on fire for God. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying to you? Yeah. God's got people. So when I tell you there's unlimited opportunity, you got to understand this. Right now in the midst of Jesus Christ, they're in the midst of Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ. And guess what? The haters have come to examine him and to, and to critique Jesus. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I get so many Jesus critiques. People going to say, I know the Bible says that, but. I know God says this, but how many times I heard, I'm on social media and I hear all these kind of things. People are redefining God. One girl said, God must, I know God must be a woman. Mm. That's what she said this week. <laughs> and I'm thinking, to my, first I heard her, her, her position was, is that we're going, I'm going to say it because it's true, what's going on today, that God accepts me the way I am, and I won't go into a lifestyle. But anyway, I want y'all to know, God does accept you as you are, but God doesn't leave you like you are. Yeah. I got a witness somewhere yeah. out there. Yeah. I got a witness, and aren't you glad that God didn't leave you the way he found you? Yes. Amen. And aren't you glad that he's still doing things in you right now? Yes. But while these scribes and Pharisees are in the midst of Jesus, these are teachers of the law. These are the uh, the, 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 the prime of religiosity of that day. These were the authorities of that day. These were the people that if you were to get to God, you'd have to come through them. These are people who knew everything. Not y'all, don't know it all, get on your nerves. Y'all. Don't y'all find somebody who just know everything. Can't ever, can't ever, can't ever shut up. They always got to have the last word. Always got to prove something. Isn't it annoying? These people were there. Why? They were there because Jesus was there. He was threatening their position. People don't like y'all. You know why? Because you move, you're moving. They don't like, they, they can't control you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. They, 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 can't, they can't understand you. They don't know how you move like you move, what you do, what you do. They don't understand how things are working for you in your favor when, when, when they don't like you. They think because they don't like you, you're not supposed to have no favor. But tell somebody, you're just like me. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. <laughs> tell somebody, you're just like me. You're just like me. Won't change God's favor. Change Y'all better give God a hallelujah right there. Let me say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm going to feel like I'm in Pakistan right now. <laughs> Amen. Because this is what's important. They are in the very presence of the Lord. And guess what they're doing? It says in this verse 17, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law are sitting by. Don't you ever come into this place sitting by. Mm-hmm. Y'all better give God some praise. That's not here worshiping. She's getting her all. She, she's out of her comfort zone, but she want to bring us into worship. Don't ever come into worship. Don't ever come just sitting by. Don't come as a spectator. Come as a participator. Amen. Wave your hands so I know you're alive back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. All right, all right. Some of y'all need to stand up because you stand up and kick your legs a little bit. <laughs> we, we in the, I'm telling these people that I, I see, they're on the floor, but they are attentive. And they're eager. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. And so it's, it, 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 it does something to me when I see people who not just show up to show up, but people show up because they're hungry. Yeah. Y'all better give God praise yeah. right there. Yeah. They show up because they want to know who God is. And I'm praying that God would send some people this way who just hunger for God's word. Amen. 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 Because I'm going to keep on learning and growing so I can feed them. Amen. Amen. So I can let the Lord use me in this ministry team to feed the people. Amen. It's important that we keep growing. Some people are wondering why things are stagnant in their lives. Some people wonder why instead of ministry growing, it's depleting. It's because, you know what, brother, sister, you got to keep growing. You got to keep growing for the people's sake. You gotta keep growing for your sake. You gotta keep growing. You can't get on a mountaintop and think you arrived. Guess what? There's a place for people who think they arrived. And God said, if you, if you exalt yourself, He said, I humble you. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep growing. I intend to keep growing. Y'all wanna grow with me? Yeah. Come on now, let's grow. Yeah. Take it, let's grow. Yeah. I'm trusting God for that miracle for you, amen. Yeah. So as
as I was pacing the floor, I, I go in my basement and I just pace the floor and I talk to God. I pace the floor and I talk to God. While I was getting ready for this message on yesterday, I was going to go back to Stronghold. We'll get back there another time. While I'm pacing the floor, I'm saying, God, if I could just, if I could just uh, help somebody understand what I'm saying, if I could just get the word across, they don't have to take this thinking, this negative think, this negative thought about them. They didn't take the truth. If I could just get there. And while I'm down there praying, God reminded me of how he sent four men to carry that friend into Jesus. And I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to carry the whole church to start carrying people. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Don't carry them to, to your kingdom. Don't carry them to your organization. Don't even carry them to your church. Carry them to Jesus. Amen. Because you get to me, you're going to be disappointed. Amen. 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 You get to the church, you're going to be disappointed. You just get to your friend, you're going to be disappointed sometimes. How many know that's the truth? Yes. But if you get to Jesus, Amen. when the friends are gone, he'll be there. Yes. Amen. Amen. When people Amen. turn their back on you, he'll be there. Yes. When people scandalize your name, he'll be there. When yes. people say mean things about you, guess what? He'll be there. Can I get a witness away? Amen. I want to know because we got to say here they are in the very presence of Jesus. And guess what? The Bible says this. And why might not get past too many of these verses? But I want to get this down to you right now. I want to download this on your to your system. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It says here, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Yeah. Oh, that's why you don't come and sit. You know what? Uh, you got to come with how many came with expectation? Amen. I don't care how things look, y'all. The devil tries to discourage me all the time. Yeah. Always messing my mind. They're not going to come. They just that. All this negative stuff come my way. But you know what? You got to stay encouraging the Lord. Amen. Yeah. 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 You know why? Because when you come to the house of God, or even those of you who are at home on bedside Baptist right now, amen, we praise God for you also. Amen. May the Lord, the Lord deliver this message to your heart today is that when we come together, God's presence is here to heal. Y'all better give God some praise. I come with expectation. Every time you come into God's presence, you ought to know his power is there. You ought to know his presence is there. How many are glad about that right now? His presence is here. You don't have to be in a church. We're in a theater right now, but it's sanctified. Amen. amen. You can be on bedside Baptist. Amen. You can be sitting on the side of your bed, but I want you to know the Lord is there with you. Yes. Hallelujah. I want you to know he never leaves you nor forsake you. Yes. I want you to know he's not only with you, he's for you. Yes. That means he's on your side and can't no devil destroy you. Yes. Amen. He's not only for you, with you, he's in you. How about that, y'all? Yes. He's inside of you. He will empower you to do whatever you need to do for Christ. Amen. amen. He, he's with you. He's for you. He's in you. Amen. When he's for you, who could be against you? Amen. To him, the presence, the power of the Lord is present to heal. I want you to know his power is present to heal. Amen. His power is present for a breakthrough. His power is present right now in this place, in our lives, to bring healing and rest. That's what Jesus is all about, y'all. You mean when Jesus comes in time, stuff don't stay the same? Mm -hmm. That's right. Even if, even, even if it means That's the right. tables when we turn over, something's going to change. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And somebody says some of y'all so trying to eat at tables that Jesus has turned over. Mm. Y'all right. gonna catch that on the way home, amen. Yeah. amen. Hey, tell, tell him I, I got that one. I, I, Some of y'all still trying to eat a table, and Jesus done flipped the table over and told you to get out. You still sitting there looking around, not growing, okay. sitting on the vine, drying up, leaves dried up, light dried up, nothing moving, not growing, not developing. And you just sat, you just like the Pharisee, you came to sit. Wow. I didn't come to sit. Yeah, I come amen. to get his presence. Yeah, I need his healing yeah, power. Amen. I need his power. Amen. Yeah, I need his power to flow. Yeah. I didn't come to sit yeah, on the premises. I come to stand on the promises. Yeah. Give God a praise. Yeah. Like, I come to claim everything God has for me. I come to walk on the ground. God said, see, I'm giving you the light. I come to walk every step like Joshua walking on the ground and say, I'm possessing this for God. Amen. amen. So we got to learn that God has some greater things for you and I. Amen. Don't be satisfied. You got to sing and minister. Don't be satisfied. Keep on going. You got to praise and worship and don't be satisfied. Keep on going. You got to, you're a deacon, a deaconess. You'll keep on going. You never know what God's got for you. Tell, that's why you never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. At the end of this text, you know what he said? We see some strange things today. Y'all better give God a praise. Amen. When he get done with you, you guys never seen it done like that before. Let me tell you about this guy. This guy was paralyzed. This guy was paralyzed. He wasn't just coming to sit and look at Jesus. Some people just satisfied to come and sit and look. Sit and look. Sit and look. He was no, he had a desperate situation. How many know desperate situation calls for desperate measures? Amen. Yeah. And I want you to know that if I say this to you and, and God whispers this to my heart often. If you're going to have something you never had before, you got to do something you never did before. Amen. 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 You can't keep doing the same thing and think something's going to change. Amen. 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 
Amen, somebody. Amen. You, you can't keep doing the same, chasing the same people, hanging with the same crowd, doing the same stuff, expect the thing to change. Now I'm going to change until you wake up and say, you know what? I got to start doing things differently. Yes. Yes. Amen, somebody. Say, I got to. Come on. Got to. Start doing, start doing. Things, differently. things differently. I need God, I need God. To, shake to shake up my life. Yes, 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 yes. Only do it. We got some brand new stuff for you and I. Won't he do it? Yes. I can't. I'm going to talk too much. My wife should share a testimony one day, but God is blessing her. Amen. Amen. And I've been praying for her. You know why? Because she's been put in situations that are very uncomfortable. But guess what? God's giving her favor. Y'all yes. better thank God for favor. Amen. Amen. My son's going through some stuff. He's going through some I'm trusting God for his life. My daughter's going through stuff. And I, you could go to the room. You could, you could say, hey, my son, my daughter, they're going through some stuff. Amen. Amen. And as Vashti said, she got an accident not too long ago. One day she shared. She got an accident not too long ago. She said, Dad, you told all my business. <laughs> God do stuff. You can't. You can't. I'm, we coming one day. We coming from, from dinner together. And the, Mike and I in one car. She meets us from work. She in another car. And I'm going by the car. And the, the traffic just automatically just stopped. Mike and I said, what's going on? There's an accident in the front. I said, well, let's go in this lane and see what happens. Go around outside. Sure hope that's not bad. Ty. Wow. And that's Vash Ty. Mm. Big old hole in the windshield. She's standing outside the car on the phone. I'm not knowing what's. We just left each other. But all said and done, long story short, young man riding a bike in the street, hit her windshield, bounced off the windshield, went up in the air, and went against the Meridian strip. She thought he was dead. She thought she was going to jail. Mm -hmm. Tell me your testimony. <laughs> she thought she was dead. You know, and so as a dad, you know how I'm feeling. She's going to have to drag me with her. She ain't going by herself. <laughs> that reminds me of rest me now. Anyway, the guys, long story short, the guy is all right. They told her a call when we ready to march what? Mid-March. Mid Mid-March. When you get it? Last week. Last week. Yeah. Her car is fine. Everybody. So, D, when God does this kind of stuff in your house, you can't keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. You can't keep your mouth shut. God is doing miracles every day. My son, mess medication is all messed up. Long story short, he wound up getting all the medication, new medication, not going to cost a dollar his pocket. Amen. Amen. This medicine will cost him $4,000 a month. Uh, eight grand a month. Eight grand a month. Oh. Yep. He's paying nothing. Y'all, and y'all wonder why my family's so foolish? <laughs> you wonder why we step out on nothing and just do stuff? Yeah, why? Because we feel that call. Amen. Amen. And can't nobody dark in the light. Amen. Amen. They try to put put it under the bush, but can't nobody dark in the light. When God puts something on you, got to go forth with it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. Anyway, the power of the Lord was present to heal. So these men have a, a friend of theirs. Can we just call him Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to help to get the picture of what's going on. And Bob, for some reason, we don't know why, Bob got sick one day and was paralyzed, couldn't move. But his friends heard there was a, a healer in town, a teacher in town, and they said, you know, we're going to take you to the king. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And they got to church, but they got there late. Can I get a witness? <laughs> and when they got to church, they couldn't get in the building. Can you imagine? They done picked this man up, four of them, drug him out to the place of worship, and they can't even get near the place. And, you know, sometimes you step out thinking you're doing something for God, and you find obstacles. And so you think to yourself, what? God must not be in this. Amen. Amen. It, it's a sign. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Sometimes it is. Most of the time it's not. Most of the time you're going to find an obstacle. But obstacles are opportunities. Yes. Amen. Amen. Obstacles are not to stop your grind. Obstacles are for you to find out what is God saying now. Because every closed door is an opportunity for open door. Amen. 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 Not too long ago, I walked away from everything. Because I believe God was leading me. Just walked away. Said, I, I'm not going to be here anymore. Been there all my life. Walked away. Didn't have any plans to do anything. Didn't have any way to minister. Everything that I, all my life's work was where I walked away from. But I heard God say, it's time to move on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I said, God, where I'm going? Silence. God, what am I going to do? Silence. The very next week, my brother-in-law called me and said, do you want me to teach at Baltimore School of the Bible? I said, I, I guess I'll try. You know, I never, 
I taught classes, but not officially with grading papers on it. So I don't try. Interview, guy said, you the kind of man we looking for. Y'all better. Y'all hear, hear what I'm saying today? Amen. I'm talking about God opening doors. Never left me without a place to say something. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And so this is a work of faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is the work of faith. And yes, there's ups and downs everywhere. But you know what? I'm trusting God to open doors. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm trusting God to branch us out to be what he wants to be. Yes. I'm trusting God that enough people that we don't have to steal anybody, but people are discontent with it all, not growing with it all. We welcome you. Amen. 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 Not to join a movement, join a personality, join a place that's trying to move forth for the Lord. Do things a little differently. Where the church isn't geared and centered around a man. But the church is centered around Jesus Christ. Yeah. We're not always celebrating men. Always celebrating this, that, and the other. And pull out your pocket for men. We're pulling out our pocket to help some. Y'all better give God yeah. praise. Yeah. We pull out, we pull out to help somebody. Amen. We pull out, we pull out to be a blessing to somebody. Amen. 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 And we ain't begging, we ain't stealing, and we ain't borrowing. Because yeah. God, when you do things God's way, God will make, y'all better give God yeah. praise right there. Yeah. God will make a way for you. Yeah. You do things his way, amen. amen. And God's blessing us, amen. Whatever we need, he sends to put it that way. God's blessing us. Y'all know, and I, can I just speak? I'm just speaking out here because I, just, I don't believe in, in speaking things into existence. I believe you believe something, you ought to say it. Amen. I'm trusting God with these few here we got. I'm trusting God that one day we have our own place. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Why well, look at the time? Amen. I hope the movie don't start playing before we leave. <laughs> we can sit down after time and spend all the time we want to fellowship with one with another. Amen. That's the kind of place. But you know what? We got to just be patient yeah. and wait on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let him fix our heart. But these men, these men, I got I got haste. So these men brought this man to Jesus. And they got there, and they couldn't get in. But I'm tell y'all, I should name this Stranger Things. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> because something strange happened. They didn't let the they didn't let the obstacle stop them, because they were determined to get to Jesus. That's right. Y'all gotta understand, you will always be able to make an excuse. Mm -hmm. Always be able to make an excuse. Always. But you got to understand, when you're doing something, you commit. Don't commit to a person. Commit to Jesus. Amen. Say, I'm doing this for Jesus. Yes. I'm getting up early for Jesus. Yes. I'm driving across town for Jesus. I'm going down. I'm doing this for Jesus. I'm serving Jesus. Jesus. You know what Jesus said? When well, you did it to the least of these, you've done it unto me. Yes. Amen. He said that when you give to the poor, you make a loan to the Lord. Yeah. And guess what? God will pay back. Amen. You don't give to get, but you know what? When you do give, God make sure you got it. Yeah, because yes. you know what? He got somebody he can trust with some money. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! He got somebody he can trust to flow through and not just be one that's always receiving and taking in. Mm -hmm. So all these preachers out here talking about you, you, you send your money in and God won't bless you. I dare you tell them you send me some money if you really believe that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, somebody! Yeah. Right. Hallelujah! Yeah. If you really believe, if I send you money and God won't bless you, I want you to send me some money. If you really believe what you told me, send me some money. Let God right. bless you. Mm. <laughs> you standing in blessed lines. I was shocked. My wife went to a, a certain, I won't name his name right now. She went to a platform to see somebody I had, I still haven't seen in person yet, who I do admire in life. After he got finished shouting to people, they had blessed lines. I've been to prophets, so called prophet places, where people with me didn't have enough money to stand in the blessing line. They will try to borrow money from us so they can go stand in the blessing line. I'm here to tell you the devil is a liar. The yeah. devil is a liar. The devil yeah. is a liar. The devil is a liar. Yeah, if it's a real blessing from God, you don't have to pay for it. Yeah. You know why you don't have to pay for it? Because Jesus yeah. paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Say, Jesus paid for this. Yeah. Pay nobody for a blessing. You're not giving your money for a blessing. You give your money because you're already blessed. Yeah. Give God a praise right there. Yeah. He said that you're more, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Yes. Yeah. When you give to somebody, it's no greater blessing to know that you're going to bless in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. That's more reward you could ever want. Because mm -hmm. somebody, you've always taken and taken and taken from people. It's time to stop taking, y'all, because I'm believing God for your miracle. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I believe in God for your miracle. These guys kept on moving. You know what they did? Stranger things, right? You know what they did? They got a, they, the, these houses were, were small back then and flat roofs. And they had like a, they would get mud and they would, um, uh, uh, 
make get a press machine and make that mud solid and cover it with thatch and uh, bushes and all these things and make it solid. And they would actually have like that would be their deck. They would go up and have prayer or have family gatherings or the roof of the house. There was no access inside. You had to build a ladder, a, a, a ladder a stairway to go to the roof. These guys said we can't get in, but we can get over. Mm. Y'all better give God some praise, amen. 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 And I can imagine the man can't walk, can't move. Say, what y'all doing? We can't get in there. Y'all can't imagine that we can't get what y'all doing. They said, no, we getting in there. And go to the roof. He said, what are we doing on the roof? What are we on the roof? We still can't get in. Oh yes, we can. And can you imagine what was going on inside? As the people were listening to Jesus, and those who were sitting by with their arms folded and trying to critique Jesus, can you imagine what happened when the roof started falling down? <laughs> can you imagine what happened when Jesus, Jesus, Jesus already knew what was going to happen. Y'all know it was a setup. There, there, can I tell you that your situation is a setup for your blessing? Yeah. How many of it was all a setup? Yeah. And what these guys do, they dug a hole large enough to put this man down yeah. in front of Jesus yeah. and lay him at his feet. How many know that there's no better place? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lay him at his feet. Yeah. And when Jesus saw the man, he looked at those who brought him in. You know what he said? He said, great is your faith. Yes. What is he saying to you? He's saying that I'm not doing this for his sake. I'm doing it because you brought him here. Yeah. Y'all trusting God for a miracle? Yes. Yes. Jesus acknowledged their faith. He said he saw their faith. How did he see their faith? He saw their faith in their feet. Yeah. Amen. It's easy to say I care about you. Easy to say, child, I'm going to pray for you. But it's another thing to go pick the man up and bring him to church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Another thing to get the man low down into the middle of something that's never been done before. Yes. Or we're going to get him to Jesus. We're going to get, why? Because we care about it. we got to get the place we care about each other enough to do what needs to be done and stay there until the job is done. Yes. And not let any obstacles stop us. That's the kind of church we want to be, y'all. Amen. Amen. We want to get people to Jesus. We know if we give them to Jesus, it's going to be all right. Yes. yes. They get this man to Jesus. You know what Jesus says? Jesus says, because of your faith, he says to the man, he says, your sins are forgiven. What? The man didn't come for that, did he? The friends didn't bring him there to get forgiveness. The friends got him there for healing, didn't they? Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know what? The Lord doesn't give us what we want. He gives us what we need. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in this man's heart, he must have felt so unworthy to come before Jesus. Y'all feel what I'm saying to you? Yes. He must have felt like I don't belong there. I, I've done too many wrong things. He must have felt because forgiveness only follows repentance. So somewhere in this man's heart, he had to have a repentant heart. And I wish I had time to tell you about the Pharisees. The Pharisees described sitting by saying, who can forgive sins? They talking to themselves. Read the account. They talking in their hearts. They reason in their hearts. And guess what? Jesus answered what they reasoned in their hearts. That's not enough to believe who Jesus is. What else is it? Mm -hmm. He answers the thoughts of his enemies. That's power in it. Yeah. I want you to know he knows your thoughts. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Think how long the Negro going to preach. <laughs> <laughs> we get out here on time. He knows your thoughts. <laughs> he knows your thoughts. Amen. But it's all right. Jesus answered their thoughts and said, which is easier? Is it easier for me to forgive sins or to heal this man? That you can know that the Son of Man has power on earth. Yes. Amen. Amen. Which one y'all think is easier? It's easier to say you're forgiven and walk on because nobody can see that. <laughs> but guess what? Forgiveness is much stronger and greater than even healing. Because when he said to this man, I don't care where you've been. So we can forgive each other for doing wrong and forgiving, but we can't wipe sin away. Right. Forgiveness means to send it off. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness means that I'm giving you a clean slate. Can y'all imagine y'all? Y'all, oh y'all can y'all praise God with me this morning. Yes. When uh Lamentation says that he gives us brand new mercies every morning. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay, okay. God, I want to tell you, you're walking around guilty about stuff that you did 10 years ago. Things you did 12 years ago, things you did yesterday. I want you to know that every morning you get brand new mercy. Yes. Y'all give God praise y'all. Yes. If you really believe that the slate has been wiped clean. When God says, I forgive you, that means he forgives it. He doesn't remember it no more. We'll be some people shouting all the time. Yes. Amen. Amen. We will be rejoicing all the time because we believe that God has that kind of power. He said, man, your sins forgive me. He said, which is easy. But he said, to show those spectators that I have power, he said, get your bed and walk. Yeah. You mean Jesus is asking a man who couldn't walk, who didn't have no power, he's given a command to do something he could never do? 
Do you hear that this morning, y'all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That man didn't have power. If he could have got up and walked, he wouldn't have been carried in. That man, that man was so jacked up, he couldn't get himself in there. But he had some friends. Aren't y'all glad about that? He had some friends. Yeah. Don't you know when you have friends, friends to look out for you? Yeah. Some of y'all fooling with some friends ain't really friends at all. Yeah. You know what I call them? Frenemies. Yeah. <laughs> what they do? What they do? They what? Come on, y'all. Y'all know. What they do? They smile in your face. <laughs> They didn't want to take your place. What they call y'all? Come on. Y'all don't, don't act like y'all been saved all your life. You know what, <laughs> what they do? They smile in your face. I call them frenemies. Because they always try to act like they're your friends, but every time they get a chance, they'll throw you under. They throw you under. Every time opportunity comes to, to criticize you, they don't defend you. A real friend defends you in front of other people. Amen. Amen. A real friend won't watch your name go down and they won't say something. Oh, they ain't really like that, y'all. Y'all don't know them like I know them. That's why you have few friends. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to shake you up. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You only got a few friends. You, 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 you think they're your friends, you get in trouble. You think they're your friends, uh, get sick and be sick for a while. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You'll find out when you first get sick, they'll all be there. But before it's over, you won't see none of them. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're real sick. You know why? They can't stand to see you there. When they're not thinking about you, they just can't stand to see you in that condition. Hurts them to a place. But you got to get beyond and realize that person, is, you think that they that you hurting. What about the person going through it? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. 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 They're living through it. Mm -hmm. So we, gotta, we can't give up on people, y'all. Get them to Jesus. They got this man to Jesus, and Jesus not only forgave him, but Jesus said, take up that thing you, that was carrying you. Now I want you to carry it. Amen. So Amen. Jesus is asking us to do something that we never did before. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. got to realize all of us were that paralyzed man. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to, I'm winding it down a little bit now. All of us were that paralyzed man. Mm -hmm. We didn't have power to do anything. Power to walk, power to think right, power to bring ourselves to Jesus. You didn't come to Jesus on your own. Mm -hmm. You didn't come because you were smart and wise and made a good decision. He said, I chose you before you ever chose me. So we were all paralyzed, yes. dead in sin and trespasses. But one day we heard Jesus said, you're forgiven. Amen. Come on now, somebody. If he would walk around the corner right now and say to you, you're forgiven, what would you do? But that's what he said right now. He says, you're forgiven. Not only are you forgiven, he said, I'm able to touch your body right now. Uh, how many know God? Y'all, I'm here. To, God doesn't heal everybody. I don't know why he doesn't, but God does heal. Amen. Amen. God does heal. How many witnesses I got? I know I got somebody here. Yeah. No God yes. here. Yes. 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 I see yes. that tap back yeah. there. I yeah. can get, get tapped. Stand up one day to tell you mm -hmm. about her son. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, I can get, get tapped to, to, to tell you about how the doctors told her she wasn't gonna have any more children. Mm -hmm. And there's come Samantha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I know I got some witnesses somewhere here yeah. in this house. That's just a little, a little piece of story. All of us got a story to tell. Amen. Amen. I can tell you. My son tell you all the time. How they told us that he would never speak well. My daughter was born. They said she's breached. We got to go in and do a C-section. They said she had a, a cyst somewhere. They want to do a surgery on her before she was born. Mm. I can tell you some stories, y'all. But guess what? None of that happened. Amen. The cyst Amen. disappeared, and she flipped over. Amen. Amen. Give God praise, y'all. God is a healer. I remember being in the hospital. I'm, I'm, I know I gotta leave this place. Being in the hospital, I didn't understand. I, mean, I was so sick, I couldn't fully understand what's going on with me. But this surgeon kept coming down, looking at my leg. My leg was pussed out. You, some of y'all saw it. Yeah, the surgeon kept down, looking at my leg. I'm on all these antibiotics. I'm on like six or seven different antibiotics. Eight, eight, and different antibiotics. Strongest one. The surgeon come down. He look. He come by every day. He looked at the leg. He said, "We just gonna leave this alone. And let this pop." Yeah. I didn't realize what he was saying to me, y'all. I didn't really realize that they could have cut the leg off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I didn't realize how sick I was. Mm -hmm. The nurse told me one more night I might not have made it. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I tell people I was sepsis, you know what they tell me? When we get a sepsis person in the emergency room, one girl told me, she said, we stop everything. Mm -hmm. One lady told me, yeah, my mom had that. She turned green and died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to tell you God is a healer. Yes. Yes. 
And that same leg that I looked at one day, that same leg I looked at one day, I went back to the doctor a second time, she jumped. She said, you got a new leg. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying to you? Amen. I'm not telling you something somebody told me. I'm telling you what God would do. Yes. Yes. What God would do. He is a miracle worker. Yes. Yes. I'm trusting God. Can you say it with me? I'm trusting God yes. for your miracle. Yes. I'm, going, I'm trusting God for your miracle. I'm trusting God for your miracle. It don't have to, maybe it's not a physical miracle. Maybe you need a relationship healed. I'm trusting God for your marriage. I'm trusting God for your friendship. I'm trusting God for your relationship. I'm trusting God for your job. I'm trusting God for your promotion. I'm trusting God for your miracle. So when I was walking in the basement, God was saying to me in my heart, he said, you know what, Michael? They don't even have to believe you. Mm. Hallelujah. Y'all better give God some praise. He yeah. said, God, they don't have to believe you. Mm. He said, you can believe for them. Hey! Yeah. Y'all yeah. better give God some praise in this yeah. place. Yeah. They don't have to receive it. You can receive for them. Amen. Amen. They don't have to. All you got to do is give them to me. Thank you, Lord. You get them to me. Thank and you, I'll handle it. Yes. And when it happens, you point them and say, God did that. Yes. That man left out of there. Can you imagine the joy? Yes. He came in one way and left another. Amen. I'm here to tell you that God Amen. is that kind of God. Yeah, yeah. You can come in one way and leave another. It doesn't take God a long way, to, long time to do what he's going to do. God can flip the script any moment. God can turn around any second. All you got to do is speak. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. All well, you gotta do is speak, y'all. Mm. And everything changes. I'm done, y'all. Give God some praise. Look to the one next to the God. For your miracle. Mm -hmm. That one you that are home right now, if somebody in their house, you tell them I'm trusting God for your miracle. Yes. Trusting God for your breakthrough. Yes. You at the side of a loved one in a bed of affliction, touch that bed side and say, I'm trusting God for your breakthrough. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you. Bless my son to come and lead us in our closing prayer. Thank you, Lord. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. For a room full of miracles right now. Thank you, Lord. There's so many testimonies under the sound of my voice right now. So many stories. Let us know that we're not supposed to keep that to ourselves. We're supposed to share our testimonies to show your glory in our lives, Lord. Lord, I can't say thank you enough for bringing me through a long life. Let's just say that. After one incident, is the next one. I'm, I'm entrusting you my current situation right now, Lord. I, I've been waking up and half my face has been numb. But I'm trusting you, Lord. And maybe a side effect of my medicine, maybe just my illness. But I'm trusting you, Lord. Trusting God for your miracle. Yes, Lord. Well, please, please keep your hand on my life. Keep your hand on the lives of everybody under the sound of my voice. Let us know that you have the power to bring us through any situation. Yes, yes. There's nothing that we can't, there's nothing we can do that you can't touch, you can't heal. There's nothing beyond your power, Lord. You're the creator of the heavens and the earth, so there's nothing in our little worlds that you can't fix. We can bring it to you. Nothing that we have is too heavy for you. You want us to give us all, all of our burdens, and I hand it over to you, Lord. I give it all to you, Lord. Mm. Lord, please let this message go on fresh soil. Let me plant it properly and grow. And help people, help everybody that's sat on our voice right now, Lord. Help them to realize that they need to bend the knee. That's the only way they can stand up, is if they bend the knee to you. You can bring them through any situation. If it's financially, if it's spiritually, if it's uh, emotionally, if it's uh, uh, a relationship wise, anything we have, we can give to you. There's nothing beyond your grace, your peace, your love, your joy. There's nothing beyond the fruits that you can't keep, that you can't fix. Lord, please touch us. Help this ministry grow. Help this ministry bring forth your word. Allow, allow us to touch somebody's heart that's going to bring forth more people to you, Lord. Mm. We, we don't just plant the seed so that one seed will get fruit. We plant that seed so we can sprout out and drop more fruit and drop more seeds so we can have a whole a whole, a whole, garden of your grace, your peace, your love, your joy. We want to bring so many people to you, Lord. We want them to cause a domino effect of grace and love. Lord, please continue to touch this ministry. Continue to touch everybody on the sound of my voice and help more ministries grow from this ministry. We're gone internationally. 
And I, I just wish that we all had that same that same hunger. I pray for our, all of us to get the same hunger for you that those people across in Pakistan had. There's a room full of people sitting, laying on the ground, all punched up together, just, just ready for your word, Lord. Mm. Lord, I can't say thank you enough for all that you're going to do, all that you're doing, Lord. Mm. I can't say thank you enough. Lord, please help us to draw more people unto you. Help everybody understand my voice. Draw more people to you. I, I want to give out the assignment for each person to start making your purpose this week to share God's grace with somebody else. Mm. His word, his love, and the actions that you do, and and then the, the love that you show. Like there's nothing that we, God has paid it for us. So there's nothing that we're giving our own pocket anyway. We're giving love out of abundance that he given us. Lord, I can't say thank you enough. I'm blessed, I'm, I'm trusting you in all situations, Lord. I want everybody under the song of voice to realize that they can trust you in all. No matter what it is, you can give it to him. He can bless it. He can touch it. He can fix it. If it's, if it's supposed to be in his will, he will bless it. Remember, all that you do, you should be doing in his will as well, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Y'all just put your, your right hand up here toward him right now. And just say, Lord, do it. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hallelujah. Do it for him, Lord, right now. Do it for him. Thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We thank God for each one of you. We got to roll out of here for Moose Stuff Land. But thank God for each one of you today. We want we don't want to stop this um, platform without offering Christ to somebody. Amen. Amen. That you would accept Christ into your life, into your heart and life. Get your Bible out. Find a Bible. Do electronic Bible. Go to Romans 10, 9 and 10 and read those verses. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. And God will save you. Amen. Go to a few more verses later. I believe verse 13 says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. Get there and accept that. Accept Christ into your heart and life. Let him change you and turn you from the inside out. Amen. God bless you, family. Come be with us on Friday night. We're going through the book of First John. We're going slow, but we are getting there. Amen. Amen. We're going to keep moving through that book line by line, principle by principle, learning God's word together. Amen. And join us again here on next Sunday morning at 845 for Sunday school and also here in person uh, next Sunday at 10 o'clock for our service. You come be with us in service. Come try Do something different. You want something different? Come on out and join us one day. Just come and try out. Come on and join us. Uh, be with us one day. But until then, we love you. Facebook and uh, YouTube members, we thank God for each one of you. If you want to join this ministry, you, you're just going to be long distance. You can send your name and phone number, and we'll reach out to you. And you can be a part of this ministry. Those who are in the center of my voice, if you haven't put your name down, you don't be a part of this ministry. We have, my wife will be outside. You can put your name down. Those who want to, anybody here in the center of my voice that does not know Jesus, raise your hand right now. We have somebody come to you. I think we have a safe house right now. Thank God. Amen. 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 So thank God for a safe house. We offer Christ. Amen. Amen. Take me to the King. Yes. Amen. 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 God bless you. King and Praise Ministry. Signing out.